My name is Midhat. My name is Matt. And today we're going to go over compliance, resistance, and flow. And here we have our compliance equation. Um, compliance is volume gained over pressure applied. So compliance is the measure of the lung's ability to stretch and expand. And there are two types of compliance. There's low compliance and high compliance. Low compliance means more pressure is needed for the lung to expand. High compliance means there's less pressure needed for the lung to expand. So an example of low compliance in a hospital setting would be pulmonary fibrosis. Uh, during, with pulmonary fibrosis, the elastid is replaced with collagen, which is, uh, causes the lungs to be less compliant. An example of uh, high compliance would be emphysema. Um, elastin is degraded, um, so the lungs have increased compliance and they're then very easily to inflate. So to demonstrate low compliance, Midhat's going to blow into this bag that has a rubber band wrapped around it to indicate low compliance. Now we're going to remove the rubber band and Midhat's going to blow into that bag to demonstrate high compliance. Flow, and we're going to explain flow using our diagram we did in class. Flow is how much gas volume comes in at a certain rate. Um, so let's give an example of a volume of 100 coming in at one second, at a rate of one second, which is going to give us a flow of 100 mils per second. Now let's say we keep the volume consist con as a constant, so leave it at 100 mils, but we're going to change the rate to 10 seconds. Okay, That's going to decrease our flow to 10 milliliters per second. Now we're going to go over resistance. Uh, here's our equation for resistance. So it's the pressure over flow. Resistance is the pressure that is required to overcome the resistance to gas flow through the airways during respiration. So to demonstrate resistance, we have two tubes here. And this larger tube is here to demonstrate an airway that is experiencing less resistance. And we have another smaller tube that's smaller in diameter that is to demonstrate um, an airway with high resistance. Now in a clinical setting, uh, asthmatic patient will be experiencing this uh, airway with more resistance and they're going to have to use more pressure to overcome uh, that resistance.